what is up everybody jpr tech here and today i'm gonna be reviewing three of my favorite apps that i use with a stylus now i'm gonna be using the chewy hi12 and the reason why is because this is a very limited atom cpu but i want to emphasize how well some of these apps are optimized for with windows 10. now starting off with the best overall app for active stylus it's just one note plain out simple you know microsoft designed it so yeah of course they're gonna have the best feature it's just gonna be the best overall experience for it it's it's actually very responsive you got the pressure sensitivity support you get shapes you got ink to shape and also very interesting is ink to text if you have the desktop version there's also math equations for your formula and that's really cool and yeah your pens are just limitless the size and colors that you could do and recently with the new newest update it's just optimized even more it's just been awesome to use and i use it mainly for taking a lot of notes and the good thing is that it also synchronizes with all devices that I have, whether it's Android, Windows, or even iOS. Actually, even my Mac Sierra, I do have the OneNote app installed in there. So from time to time, I look at my notes. Now, this, I forgot to mention the beginning of the video, is that this is mainly a note-taking review. So I'm not an artist. I can't draw worth anything i can even draw a stickman or a simple box but that's that i'm mainly focusing on handwriting and that's it so if you're into notes for school then stick around till the end of the video because i'm going to show you a few really cool apps so the first one i recommend is just one note it's the best one it's just optimized for windows next on the list is nebo this app is just amazing it's just for main focus of this is for note taking so if again you're like me you take a lot of notes this app is for you and the main feature about this app is the ability to convert your ink into test into text on the fly so i'm going to do a quick test so this is a quick test and look at all that on the fly so I'm gonna try to zoom in here and see how you can it just converts everything even my comma there are a bunch of other shortcuts shortcut and as you can see, it doesn't matter the order that I write in. It's just going to figure out what I was trying to write. And this is terrible writing, but it still converted it actually really correctly. And the cool thing about this app is that with all these gestures that you have, like double tapping, bam, it's converted into text. And not only that, uh, you're not finished editing. You could still double tap your sentence and do other edits such as highlight by making a square on top of the word. You could underline for emphasizing a word, making it bold. Uh, there is also the cut out the space by drawing a line up or down. You could scribble to erase. This awesome app for taking quick notes. So I really recommend this app. And you can even do bullet points or arrow. So here's an arrow and this is my first first point. And then you could do another arrow down here and this is my second point. And this is terrible writing, but look at that. It looks like an R, but it actually knew that I was trying to write point and let's do one more and this is the third and let's do some word uh, numbers here third look at that it read the third correct and if i double tap it right there it automatically detects that i was doing bullet points and create them for me automatically 
Now this app can synchronize with an account, an Ebo account, and also you can export in Word. You could grab the paragraphs that you made, you could move them up and down. Just a really awesome app. Just, I, I just love this. is my favorite app for taking notes, serious notes. And yeah, it's really responsive as you can see in this old dual core Atom CPU. Now, the last app I'm going to recommend for you is actually, now if you look down here on the corner, Windows 10 has this win, uh, Windows Ink workspace, and one of the apps is called the Sketchpad. Now, the Sketchpad is actually not a bad sketching app because it's really smooth and responsive. Oh, I got the eraser on. The eraser was on. I just erased something. But it's actually a very responsive, cool app. But... The problem with this is if I want to multitask, I can't. It's, there is, see, there is no window mode. It's just, I just left the app. So you got to go back to your ink workspace and hit on the sketch back again and continue working. And that's just, it's not cool. You know, even though you got all these nice features like the eraser, well, it's just not practical in a Windows environment. <laughs> Windows. The actual name of the operating system is Windows. You should be operating with Windows. And that's where Inkodo, just my next app, takes uh, no, takes place. Inkodo, what it does, it allows you to use the same features as that sketchpad, but it's in an actual window. So you could actually multitask, have a web page here and take notes. So take notes here. Or just for quick sketches or something. If you might have a quick sketch of an item, an idea that you have, and you just want to make a quick sketch, this is an awesome app. It's pretty responsive. It does support pressure sensitivity, and it's the, it does have that ruler that was on the sketch pad. But even better, there's another one. There is a diagram that you could make circles with it, and that is very cool. Pretty cool feature. And that's why Inkodo is my other app that I recommend for quick sketches. There are other really worthy apps out, out in the Microsoft Store, such as the Catch. I believe this is, yeah, the Catchbook is what it's called. Now, this app is pretty awesome. Not only do you do sketches and it does automatic lines and circles for you, but you could add dimensions to them, such as you see here. And this is a great app for. Uh, real estate or designers. If you're doing a quick sketch of a item that you're designing, you're building, this is the app for you. It's free. It has awesome features on the free version. You could upgrade and even expand on the features, but it's just pretty cool with this feature it has right now. Another worthy mention is Sketchbook. Now, Sketchbook actually is not for me because this is for this kind of sketches, like the serious serious artist and yeah that i am not but it's just really awesome it's actually responsive in this atom cpu you can do a lot of cool sketches the um the pressure sensitivity is awesome in fact it's off the sharp even with the limit of this chewy pen that it has i believe 256 pressure sensitivity level and it still works really awesome in this app but it, it does drag a little bit if you do a lot of heavy work on it. And that is probably the CPU's fault. So if you're a art, serious artist, that's the app for you right there. Sketchbook. That's about it. There are other apps in the app stores that are pretty cool. But they're, they're all basically the same thing, actually. So for serious sketchers, get the sketchbook. If you design, get the catchbook. And if you're a serious note taker, Get the Nebo, especially since you can export to Word. But for everything else, general use, OneNote is the one to go with. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick overview of apps that I use with the stylus. If you got any questions, go ahead, put them down on the comments down below. Any suggestions or other apps that you would like to recommend, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.